In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit more about how I kind of got my start when it came down to learning how to buy and resell cars. Uh, I think that this is something that, you know, not a lot of people know about. First of all, I know that for some people, they might just be rubbed off the wrong way when it comes down to someone buying and selling cars. Uh, there's always been a negative connotation, I think, towards like dealerships and stuff like that. Uh, but one of the first things that I want to kind of present to you, right, is if a dealership or if a business can do something, uh, then that means that an individual, of course, can, in a sense, replicate the same system, but of course, in a much smaller scale. Uh, so anyone, in my opinion, uh, can learn how to buy and resell anything. Uh, one of the first things that I want to share with you is why did I want to learn how to buy and resell cars? Uh, I've been a huge car guy ever since I could remember. Uh, I fell in love with like the Fast and the Furious kind of series. And because of that, that's kind of where I got my start, got my interest and in just being very intrigued about sports cars, fast cars, and I just knew that that was always going to be a huge passion of mine. How did I learn? Uh, I got my start when I turned 18. Uh, my brother was buying and reselling cars. He was actually working for a local dealership where I grew up. Uh, he ended up leaving that job he had as a salesman um, at that dealership, and he actually ended up moving to San Diego. We grew up in Orange County. So we uh, he ended up dropping out of college, moved from Orange County, and then ended up moving on over to auto sales. For those that are maybe around that San Diego area, uh, know those kind of like car lots. I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, he took his passion for car and his overall experience that he gained being a car salesman and he saw that he could do it himself. He saved enough money, you know, uh, rented out or leased out a piece of land and then just began to hustle and create his own thing, right? I started seeing him. I remember him coming home and, and this is again, I know it's a very materialistic thing. I'm just ex expressing and, and sharing my experience. I remember him coming home uh, with like a Hummer H2. And again, take into consideration, he's like 21 or 23 at the time. He came home with like a Hummer H2. He had a Nissan 350Z with a carbon fiber hood that I just absolutely loved. And then one day he came home with a 2003 Dodge Viper. Um, I just was like so amazed. Like, first of all, I love cars, right? And I'm a huge fanboy when it comes down to all these different cars. Cause at that time, if you had a Hummer H2, like you're balling out, right? That was like really, really cool back then. Not so much now, I don't think. Uh, 350Z was like, that came out in the Fast and the Furious movies. I was like, holy crap, like he has one of those cars. Uh, and then when it came down to a Dodge Viper, that was viewed as an exotic to me. I was just like, never really even seen one up close. My brother had one, someone that I idolized. and. It's cool that he had those expensive cars. What I found to be even that much more impressive was that he was actually making money off of these cars. And yeah, you know, dealerships have access to auctions, but what I really began to understand was that like, you know, I don't need to go to auctions. I don't need all that fancy stuff um, to still find good deals, right? There's Craigslist, there's now Facebook Marketplace, there's now OfferUp, LetGo, CarGurus. There's, there's so many different platforms where it's a peer-to-peer kind of like sales-based platform. And it really comes down to those that do the digging and, and try to find those little golden nuggets uh, that find those absolute amazing deals. Um, does it mean that it's always gonna happen? No, but I just knew that it was possible that I didn't need access to those auctions. But when I turned 18, uh, my brother, really helped me out with, I had this little sum of money saved, I was really interested in kind of getting into the buying and reselling car market. And he pretty much just sparked my interest. He was the spark in what assisted me in gaining like kind of experience in this market. It was a 2012 Honda Accord or Honda Civic. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but all he told me was that, you know, hey, you give me the money to buy this car through insurance auto auctions. I will do all the work. I will show you exactly what I do. And then we will sell it for a profit and we'll split the profit 50-50. He in no way like had to help me out. He in no way needed my money. Uh, he in no way really benefited from this other than being someone that wanted to like guide me in the right direction. He knew that if he sparked my interest, that I would at least gain a general understanding of what it took to successfully buy a car, identify it to be a good deal, and then resell it for a profit. And he showed me the ins and the outs. And again, that's kind of in the approach when it comes down to the, the dealer approach because he had access to the dealer auctions. But I took that general concept and I began to implement it into a more kind of like person that does not have access to an auction, right? Like myself and like many of you. Um, I knew that it could be done. I think this is one of the biggest reasons that I began to find success in buying and reselling cars was because I didn't try to copy exactly step by step 
what he did. There, there's, I knew that there's like multiple different ways to still be successful in any market. I took the general concepts that I learned from him, the principles, right? And I cherry picked them. I cherry picked them and I, and I picked what I found to be attractive. It was not a perfect system for me. I made mistakes along the way. I've taken a couple losses and it's just part of the game, right? But I really enjoyed the process. I surrounded myself with people that shared similar interests that were go-getters and people that I found value in. And that was really just it. Um, I had a huge passion for cards. I knew that I was going to, you know, buy cards later down the road. And I just thought that, you know, people normally, and I totally understand this, view cards as depreciating assets. And if you buy them brand new, normally they are, and there's no question about that. But I knew that if a business or a dealership, which is a business for buying and reselling cars, can make money off of this, then I could do it in a much smaller scale, obviously within the state legal limit. So uh, what I tried to do myself was make sure that I only took advantage of cars that I found to either be you know, worth the investment opportunity, right? Or cars that I actually just wanted to buy, right? One of the first cars that I did that I really wanted to buy was a 2013 Dodge Dart, believe it or not. That was just a car that I absolutely fell in love with. And I wanted to do kind of, you know, that same approach of buying it, repairing it, and then selling it for a profit for that 2013 Dodge Dart. Later down the road, I did it with a 2014 Ford Mustang. Later down the road, I did it with a 2014 or 2015 uh, Hyundai Genesis Coupe 3.8. And it just continued from there. Uh, I later then bought my dream car, a 2012 Nissan GTR, which is pretty much what sparked my entire interest. Obviously, I didn't fund that all just with you know the, the buying and reselling or just trading in the stock market, but um, it was everything, right? It was the combination of understanding, having a general understanding of, of the market, how to buy and resell things, and of course, saving money and having a stable job that allowed me to supplement you know, this investment opportunity. Uh, but the really cool thing about that is after owning that Nissan GTR for like a year or a year and a half, I actually sold it for like $1,500 profit or $1,000 profit to a foreign student that moved uh, to go to the ASU campus. And it's so amazing. It's I, I think that I wanted to like ask you kind of two questions, two reasons why I personally think that it's worth learning more about. This is all, and it's my opinion, right? And just take it as that. One of the first things that I think that, but learning, just the, the, the principle of learning how to buy and resell cars or, or just how to negotiate, right, to get a good deal is you're going to buy a car most likely down the road. If not, maybe even a couple cars, right? Not only for yourself, maybe for friends, for family. It's, it's that simple, right? Like you're most likely gonna buy more cars down the road. So I just thought that, hey, educating myself about how to negotiate, how to identify what a car is worth, how to ensure that I'm getting a good deal, and what to look for, kind of the ins and the outs, just to make sure that I do my part in getting a good deal is worth learning more about because, again, I'm going to be, in a sense, putting money in this market later down the road, so it's worth it. I think for the general public, that's one of the most attractive reasons to maybe why to learn more about how to negotiate and how to find a good car deal in your area. Uh, one of the second things is I'm a huge, this is not for the general public, but I'm a huge fanboy when it comes down to cars. There's no easy way for me to put it. I just, you know, I have a McLaren 720S, I have a Lamborghini Huracan, I have a Porsche GT3 RS, I've had four GTRs. I just absolutely love cars and I don't like losing money. Right. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to combine this kind of like business type of like approach that I have when it comes down to not wanting to lose money in anything that I do uh, and combine that with my passion for cars. It doesn't mean that I have to make a profit off of every single car that I buy down the road, but it just means that I inform myself on how to understand what a car is worth to ensure that I get the best deal possible to my knowledge, because that's all we could really do, to make sure that I either minimize the amount of money that I lose, either break even, or actually make a profit. With the Lamborghini Huracan that I've had for a couple months now, I'm expected to make anywhere from around five to $10,000 profit after driving that car, if things go according to plan. And again, they don't always have to go according to plan. And again, there's insurance, all this other stuff that you have to take into consideration, but it's the general idea. I'm just a huge fanboy when it comes down to cars, and I wanted to educate myself in a market that I knew that I was going to invest in in the future, right? So it just made sense to me that, hey, this is a market that I should probably learn more about because it simply makes sense based off of where my interest and where my time is spent. Now we're in the works of actually opening our own car dealership 
membership here in Arizona. And like many of you guys know, we have our free Facebook group, Flipping Wheels, which pretty much just empowers people to help them and empower them to educate themselves on how to find the best car deals in their area. Not all of them try to buy and resell cars for a profit because we know that not everyone's interest is in cars, but we know that a lot of people at least share a very similar interest in getting a good deal and you know, getting the biggest bang for your buck, right? Saving money or actually being able to make a profit. Just wanted to share with you kind of my story on how I got my start, how I learned and a huge shout out to my brother for being that spark. And I hope that I can be that spark for you. But I think one of the biggest takeaways that you can have is to, you know, if you see yourself you know, potentially spending more time in this market in the near future, uh, a simple question that you might want to ask yourself is, is it worth learning more about and can it save you some money? It's as simple as that. So if you think that it is, um, again, we'd love to have you as a part of our free Facebook group. I'm gonna put that with that first link in the description. Like always guys, continue working hard, continue following your dreams, let your passion be what drives your success. And like always, let's make sure that we're in the year on a green note. Take it easy team.